everyone, Gilman with Live Wealthy Stocks back with our daily Apple update video where we take a look at how Apple stock traded today, some key support and resistance levels that we're looking at moving into the future and based on that what we think the stock can do. So real quick, if you enjoy videos like this, hit that like button down below and subscribe to my channel and make sure to comment down below what your thoughts on Apple are moving forward. If you're long on Apple um, or if you're doing some plays setting up for that new year um, kind of run into earnings that we're talking about. So let me know down in the comment section and I'll hit we record. We started. So a little red day for Apple here. We're down about $2, which is 1.59%, up 45 cents after hours, which kind of puts us at negative, um, you know, one and a quarter or so for the day. Comparing that to the NASDAQ, we also had a red day, but not too bad of a red day close to close, only down 0.07%. The Dow was down 100 points, up 130 after hours, so um, I guess you could say a little bit up for the day, and then same thing with S&P, down for the day, um, up a little after hours, but not nearly as down as the red day that we had. So let's take a look at Apple and see what we see on the daily chart as we like to do. Let me get rid of some of these indicators and we can see what happens. So yesterday we were talking about you know what Apple could do. We saw the initial push 129s closed kind of in the mid to high 128s and then you know kind of in the pre-market we were pushing that 129. Maybe we see that that visit to that high of yesterday, right? But we saw a crazy sell-off right out, out of the gate um, falling from 129 to kind of 127s uh, before it kind of settled there for a little bit. Key thing to note here is for the entire day we were below VWAP, so it didn't even have enough strength to make it up to VWAP. Um, but you know, no issues there because we kind of were expecting a little bit of profit taking, right? I had talked about it kind of in my you know, previous video or two of, look, Apple's had a decent run the past few days. It's the end of the week, um, so a little bit of profit taking, a um, little bit of sell off is, is nothing to really be worried about. It's it's a, it's a part of a healthy market, right? We like to see pullbacks. So then we saw it settling kind of in this um, mid, like kind of 127.10s to 127.80s, 90s, um, and was trading in that for the rest of the day. And then we saw the next push. Now, if you watch my videos, you know exactly the level that we were watching out for, and I was really glad to see it hold up as good support. This 126, um, kind of 60s level, right? Bounce, go up, kind of bounce, right? Go up, and then we drop below that level. And if you zoom in here, right, we talk about, look, if we make it below a support point, it becomes the first level of resistance for us, which is exactly what we see kind of happening towards the end of the, end of the day. Then Apple was like, you know what? Let me take a little break, pulls back, and boom, it breaks it through that support level. So. Great, great, um, you know, action there. Um, two things: a, it validated that 126.60 support, um, and then you know also had enough strength to get back over it. So I'm really happy with the way Apple traded today. And then we kind of see it gradually pushing up after hours, which is great. Um, let's take a look at the hourly chart, and I'll point out, you know, the 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 last time we kind of touched this. So if you guys remember, just a couple of days ago, two days ago to be exact, um, is when we kind of came up with this 126.66 support. We'd only really touched it once. I like to see it touch again and have that bounce, which we got today. So I think, you know, moving forward, if we're above this level, that one mid 126s should be good, good support. Let's take a look at the daily chart and we'll see what we see there. So, you know, Apple has had a great run. Um, only thing is today is the first day um, that in the past kind of four, I guess this week that we haven't made a higher high, higher low. But again, you know, the fact that we've gone from kind of the mid 121s um, and we were all the way kind of in the 128s, 129s, a little bit of profit taking and a pullback is normal. It's fine, nothing to be worried about, right? The, the next thing that we're looking at is, you know, where Apple could go from here. So if we push up, um, obviously the high of today is something that we were not able to really close at, right? The high was in the 129s and then we saw that sell off. That's the level I want Apple to hit and then the high of yesterday, which is 129.58. And then the next level of resistance after that is the all time high that we set back in September in the high 130s. On the downside, what we have is today's low, 
right, which is kind of really nicely coinciding with this um, line. So today's low is 126.12, this line's 126.60s. So not perfect there, right, but still something to be uh, looking out for. And then let me bring in the, uh, the EMAs real quick. We'll take a look at those. So the eight EMA comes in right at 125.65. So if we break that mid 126s line, got a one and kind of the 125, the mid 125s. I also think that 125 is gonna be kind of a mental support now that we're above it, hopefully. Um, but hopefully we don't go down to test that and we trade sideways, consolidate for a little bit and then push up. The, 30, the 21 EMA comes in at 122, and then we've also got this 121.50 level, which is kind of really nicely aligning with our 34 EMA right at 121. So levels of support, kind of today's low with the 126s, then we've got that mid 125s and the 8 EMA, then we've got the next one uh, and the 122s with the 21 EMA. Moving forward though, like I've always, like I've been saying for a little bit, Apple's iPhone 12 came out this year, but it was uh, an interesting kind of quarter because typically that'll come out in September. So we'll see those sales in September's quarter. Then we'll kind of wait until the holiday season where you know Apple sells a ton of products, you know, for people getting it for as a holiday present and such. But this is the first year where we're kind of seeing that, that October release with the December sales, hopefully, um, and the fact that it's a 5G iPhone, I'm hoping for great, great earnings. So I personally am looking to see the stock hopefully soon move back up into the high 120s, hopefully break 130s, and then um, you know running into earnings. Um, that would be my goal personally. But you know, we'll kind of see how that holds. Um, good level of support here, hopefully, unless we see something really terrible happen on Monday and we fall below that. Remember that a stock can be really strong, but at a certain point, a large company like Apple with over two trillion market cap has to give into certain market conditions. So, you know, just, just be mindful of that. So um, we can do our best with support and resistance, but sometimes um, the market is also a big, big driver of where the stock goes. Um, but yeah, that's all I had for you guys today. Hope we see another green week next week. Happy holidays to those of you guys um, that are celebrating them. Let's remember to be a bit better every single day and until next time.